hello everyone my name is Ishwar and in this today's video I am going to show you how we can apply GD antis in any sheet metal parts so without any further delay let us get started so this is the sheet metal part which having some bend as well as it has some holes on it so how we can take our datum for this sheet metal part and how we can that take the dimension of it so today i am going to show all of these steps so this is the drafting sheet of Cadia. So first we will take the front view of it. So this is the front view at this axis system well the front view we have already taken now we will go for the some other views of this part so this is the side view now as you can see in this surface we have two holes over here so for that we need to take auxiliary view to get the true dimension for that part so for that we will take auxiliary view now make it straight now delete this description and right click go for position independently of reference view so that we can move it anywhere in our seat now we will try to take the dimension of it so well so in the front view we will define the width of this part and rest of the dimension we will try to cover in this side view so here we will take the height value and also we will take this flange width from the intersection point of this bend same way for this flange also now we will give the bend radius by unchecking the intersection point and we will take angle for this bend slightly we will move our auxiliary view little bit downward so that it will not looks like clumsy that's it 
if you'll see that these two bend having a same radius and angle there are no need to define over here so that's it now we will cover this whole dimension so before taking this dimension we need to take a datum for it since these holes are present in this phase so we will take our primary datum as this phase only so select the tolerance box just drag it and here we will take flatness and this one will be having magnitude 0 0.5 well and at the end we will go for no symbol and by pressing your shift key you can adjust this line so that it can totally coincide with this edge of this part well after that we will take our datum datum feature so, yeah so now this is our datum a and it should be fill triangle now we have to restrict the horizontal and vertical moment of it so again we will take some other datums so just click on the geometrical tolerance box and here it should be angularity with magnitude of 0 0.5 and it should be angular to the reference a again same thing we have to do and go for no symbol here and we will take our data feature B and we will try to match the property of A that's it now we will go for our third datum so that it will restrict the moment in horizontal direction and it should be angular to A and angular to B right and it should be our sheet atom minus the property of V and here at the end we won't require any symbol move in the sheet adjust it here Now as you can see this is our surface A and this is going to be having a certain angle with reference B and this vertical surface this is our datum C which is angular to B this surface and as well as A now we will take center for this to circle now select this circle and this vertical reference again this circle and one reference now 
we have reference b and c so we will try to take the dimension from the datum itself so this is the one dimension and from this center to this center will be another one similarly center to center vertical distance now try to adjust in the seat now we will take line up same thing we have to do for this vertical dimension and we will going to define the fillet dimension here okay now we will give diameter for these two holes and right click go to properties go for dimension line go for two pads and we will give tolerance here Point two two. Now click on the dimension, sorry, intolerance box, and we, here we will go for our positioning tolerance, and we will take the references A, B, C, since this one is our primary datum so we need to follow the sequence like this only once done we need to remove this leader again we need to do same thing for this circle also so we'll go we can match the property of this one Now copy this tolerance box and move it here. So as you can see we have not taken precision for this dimension. So select these dimensions and go for the precision value 0 0.5. Since we applied GT entries for these holes, so this dimension should be in box. So just select this all this dimension 
and click on this rectangle box now again right click and in the value menu bar just take 3.5 now we will try to take the isometric view for this part go for isometric view first then fit on screen and click one more time in your seat so just let us check whether we have applied the required dimension for this part or not here we have defined width of this part here we define the vertical height we have also taken the radius and angle and this flange length and references and the last we have to define the thickness value for this part well then now we will go for our holes dimension we have taken these dimensions from our datums and we have defined this the part of it so that's it i think we have done the drafting for this part and we have also applied GDNTs of it. So this is how we can do the drafting and apply GDNTs on any seat metal part. So thank you for watching this video guys. Have a nice day.